Here's what my pond looks like in the morning. Um, this is after a day of heavy feeding and you know, regardless um, for almost just about any type of feeding, um, I get foam like this. And right now it's not as bad, but as the fish get bigger and the more I feed them, I feel like this problem is just going to get even more <coughs> of an issue. And I've seen ponds where people have foams that literally covers the entire surface. Um, the foam itself isn't causing clarity issues. As you can see, uh, my pond water is extremely clear because of the drum filter. But it's a little bit distracting and I'm trying to resolve this. Or at least this is one of the issues I'm trying to tackle right now. Um, so let's show you what I'm trying to do. I'm just going to walk over here for that and fall. But my plan in the pro in progress is this. So I am planning on doing a shower filter using these polyethylene bins and I will use the outlet water or the water coming out. I've kind of teed it off and connected the pipe to kind of last night. But this is what it's going to look like. So the water is going to come come down. Actually there's two bins right now but I plan on stacking two more on top. So this will give me about 36 cubic foot of space to uh, put materials in. And so the water comes in, it'll come out those ports. And uh, this is a really neat way of making use of these um, poly containers. What you can do is uh, get the fittings and then go to a plastic company that manufactures these. Um, I just happen to be close to one and they'll spin well a fitting onto here so that you can connect like a uh, female adapter. This happens to be a 4 inch. Now, I paid $50 to get two of these things uh, welded onto it which is extremely cheap if you think about it. Now, I was going to do it myself uh, using my heat gun but um, I think this application requires something a little bit more durable and something more, you know, f more foolproof than what I was going to do. And I think this should be really, really good. So I got two connectors, two adapters. As low as possible or right in the circle? As low, well, as low as possible um, would be, uh, yeah, would be helpful for me. So as long as it doesn't, uh, it does, because this is pretty thick, you know. So, yeah, yeah. And then as long as, well, I don't know, is that going to be good enough for you, or you want to yeah, bring it up a little bit? Good. That's good. Yeah. Okay. That is cool. <laughs> I was gonna try to weld it myself, but uh, I figured this is so much better. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah.
do welding yourself? Well, I bought a, a thermoplastic like heat gun just to weld it for fun, you know. But uh, it doesn't obviously can't weld it like that. Oh, I, no. I, I use a little uh, plastic welding rod, and I go through it like for stuff, you know. It it just doesn't have the same kind of uh, integrity as this. Yeah. Where can I buy that fitting? Is that a custom manufactured fitting or no, no, that piece? I mean, you can buy them, but they only sell them in bulk. Then put in the four-inch pipe. Got an elbow going straight out, and then the four-inch pipe. You know, you have to excuse me. I got a lot of plants going on here. So the four-inch pipe has a T right here. So of course, you know, the purpose of this T is to kind of bring the water level up to here, and then let that like a little uh, barrier here create the the tension and and the backing of the water which then creates the foam and lifts it over now to control the water level I've installed a look at how, look how messy this is uh, I installed a 4 inch valve right here and then you know this will allow me to adjust the water level it's pretty this is pretty heavy duty if you think about it. I mean, four inches, no joke. And then the water outlet will come straight out into the pond and it will circulate the water in a clockwise um, pattern. It's already doing that right now, but it will be even better. Now, this is all in theory. I cannot assume that this is gonna work. I've just seen a lot of uh, DIY projects that utilize this and I thought I'd try it out because uh, this allows me to put in a backish well it's a shower filter and also a foam fractionator at the same time so once I get everything connected I will do some tests and see if it works I'm hoping to flow about 3,000 gallons of water onto these two bins and let it drop down um, the way I'm gonna work well the way I'm gonna fill the media in the bin is uh, using the stackable containers they look something like this. Stackable containers right here. And uh, they just have to fit perfectly inside them. And I'll be able to stack these either with oyster shells if I can get them or um, maybe lava rocks. And maybe some plastic medias too. I'm not too critical about that. As long as I get enough flow rate and enough media, I'll be happy. As you can see, the outlet pipes here are 4 inches wide, so that's rather large. And um, obviously, we do not want anything flowing out of these pipes right here. So we got to find a way to block it. So um, I just happen to find these trays that fit perfectly inside I mean it wasn't even part of the purchase it was just two separate purchases and uh, these trays were actually used by an oyster farm where I got the shells from and they're two by two by eight and the interior of this bin just happens to be 24 inch by 24 inch so it's a perfect fit let me show you and then these are stackable as well so I'm gonna push it down bring it all the way down but each of these bins are able to hold three maybe three and a half of these uh, trays so that's kind of like having a six tier shower filter um, and it's pretty affordable so but I'm gonna work my way and see if I can push this thing all the way down I'm gonna need two hands for this that was a little bit of work but as you can see I got it all the way down and these grit patterns right here are gonna stop things from flowing through and things like uh, bio balls, oyster shells maybe lava rocks I don't think they're gonna be able to get through here and uh, that's what well that's really the purpose of for these trades and um, this is the first one but 
I can't really stack the rest of them on. I just have to fill it up slowly and then stack the next one on and do it one at a time because um, it's a really snug fit. But look at that. So it's going to hopefully prevent a lot of things from getting through. And on the bottom layer, obviously I have to put like big stuff just to uh, cover some of these cutouts here for like the handle. Um, and that's pretty big so obviously I can't have anything small up here which might eventually flow out but yeah this is uh, I think this is gonna work I hope it's gonna work